This is the coolest lot I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Hey everyone, Mighty Mike picking weeds, vintage. We're gardeners and junkers that love to travel. We're resellers and I'm excited. We're gonna fill this table with two big lots that we just won at the auction. And I'm going to pick them up right now. Can't wait. Thanks a lot for coming along on this edition of Pickin' Weeds Vintage. Right there, on that table right there. Yeah. I love this license plate, bid high. All right, so we just picked up our, look at this, wow. What an impressive lot. Our bank bags, we got an old Rock'em Sock'em. Love that. Some more bank bags, some Elvis Presley, some NASCAR. Got some pop culture. Oh, I was born to rock. So we got a whole box of goodies in this one. And then also around on this side as well, just filled. That, my friends, is a really nice lot to win. All day long, yeah. Way to go, Kay. Can't wait to show her. She did really well. She's a good auction bidder. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. We spent a little bit more than we usually do, but sometimes you have to wager a little bit more for a bigger payoff. We paid 185 total for everything here in the van, and I think we'll easily be able to get that back and then some. I think we're gonna do really well with this lot. Here's a closer look at the eight boxes love this box of pop culture alf I and mean, there's some really oh look at that there's some nuggets in here that'll be a fun box to go through i don't even think we looked all the way in the bottom of this yet oh this is another alf so wow three three alfs are better than one but wait there's more bank bags just tremendous bank bags bank bags wait what bank bags wait what bank bags this is an amazing lot. Wow, I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited about this lot. Wow, it keeps going down further and further. This is gonna be fun to go through. <laughs> sometimes you get beat up at the auction and sometimes you hit a home run. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Can't wait to go through these with Kay. Hands down, this is the best bank bag lot we've ever scored, I've ever seen in my entire life. Unbelievable. And I didn't even go through it all yet. Four other boxes filled, filled <laughs> with good bank bags. There's hundreds in here. This has to be the most impressive bank bag lot I've ever seen in my entire life. It certainly is the biggest. Wow. All right, we just picked up Kay from work. Hey Kay, happy Friday. Hey, happy Friday. And we're getting our steps in, so we're gonna do a walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we started an exercise program earlier this week and we're trying to get our steps in every day and we have a local park and you can see by the flags that it's really windy. I was here not too long ago and we had 50 mile an hour wind gusts that day. And if you go to our shorts, you can see. Yeah, the other day when we were 
out here we were having snow flurries. So yeah. This isn't too bad. No, this isn't bad at all. <laughs> but yeah, both those days were not very good to uh, to go for a walk, were they? No. Yeah. So we're here. It's Friday. Okay. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yes. How was your day today? It was good. Good. I'm very excited. When you get home all day, I've been messaging her back and forth. <laughs> I say, I can't wait for you to see this lot. This lot is amazing. I've said this before. I remember with the postcard lot that, you know, oh, this is the best lot ever, hands down. You know, the travel, the hotels, the advertising. These were really great new old stock from like the 30s, 40s. I think, I, I know this lot is the best we've ever had, hands down doesn't even come close and I'm so excited for you to take a look I can't wait at these bank bags these vintage bank bags I can't wait for you to see them I know I can't wait it's gonna be so cool to go through them so we're gonna get our steps in and then we're gonna get I know another windy day the three out of the five days every day this week you know it's officially spring but it's cold and windy we had snow and it was horizontal the other day oh, gotta start somewhere that's right get our steps in and then we're gonna reveal the auction lot for Kay can't wait. Woohoo! Is this amazing or what? It's unbelievable. I mean, look, and we didn't even, I didn't go through all these oh boxes. There's still a lot in these boxes. I was just shooting a short with all these. That is amazing. Look at all of them. I know. Even if you just got one box like that. Right? For what you paid, you'd do pretty good. Wow. I can't believe <clears throat> it. I know. Oh, I can't wait to look through. It's gonna be fun. It, it, oh, it just keeps going and going. Oh my goodness. I know. Awesome, home run. Home run, yeah. I've never seen a vintage bank bag lot this robust. I mean, we're talking <laughs> lots and lots of really nice vintage bank bags. Unbelievable condition. That's a home run for sure. We're gonna take this whole big box of NASCAR and some toys. There's an old Elvis, there's a Rock'em Sock'em. It's newer, it's made in China, but there's a lot of nice NASCAR collectible stuff in here. This box we're gonna to give to our friend, Hawaiian shirt picker, Dave. I think his favorite race car driver is in this, so. I mean, there's some nice artwork donated to the thrift store if he doesn't want to put it on his own house. But you can see there's just a lot of really interesting NASCAR memorabilia. Some actually nice pieces here, but very heavy. Rusty Wallace. I think it's not marble, but it's a very heavy uh, back. And then Alan Kowicki. I think that's his favorite race car driver. So there's a bunch of Alan Quickie. Uh, we got Dale Arn Earnhardt. That's a cool piece. So I definitely have value, but you know what? We value his friendship. Look at Alan Kowicki. It's a really nice piece. Davy Allison and, um, and a toilet seat. Brand new toilet seat made in the USA. And we want to give this to him for all the things he does for us as a thank you. There's an Elvis book in here and some more nascar racing bunch of framed artwork pictures from nascar and we want to just give the whole lot to dave kellogg's racing you can see these kind of cool never open 1994 kellogg's racing terry labont kyle petty And Mellow Yellow. So there you go, Dave. Thanks for all you do. That looks like the <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios, the Bumblebee. That's cute. We have the Alps. What's this guy? Oh, Burger, Burger King. King. He even has the original tag. 19... 86. 88. Oh, 88. I think we had this one before, yep. but it didn't have the... Well, and I think we also the had the hand puppet, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, here, hold him up, pull the string, his belly button.
<laughs> That's great. 1992. Now, is that Stimpy or Ren? <laughs> okay, what do you think of him? Cute. That is cute. Cute. Another Alf. He's got a surfboard, Burger King advertising on there. It's pretty clean. Yeah, they're in really clean. They're in good condition. His twin brother. He forgot his surfboard. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is that a vintage yeah. troll? His shorts are coming down. Yeah, I think that's an older one. He's yeah. cute. Oh, oh man. We've got wow. the Alf jackpot here. Yeah. we got maybe <laughs> a couple sets, possibly. We'll have to see. What was Alf saying? Oh, man. I like your cat. <laughs> that wasn't his saying. He, he did like to eat cats. Well, I figure we'll take out the good ones and we'll put all the ones back in this one that we want to donate. Oh, that's from the 70s, huh? Mm hmm. Okay, we got two boxes we're donating. We're donating the toys and the stuffies that we don't want, and we're going to keep the ones that we want. All right, okay, I think what we should do is let's continue to go through these boxes mm -hmm. and let's get all the other colored ones and put them on here, and then we'll sort these by state for example most of them are pennsylvania but here's indiana there's some new york there's a south dakota so we'll do out of state and then we'll do in state and then once we do in state we'll do harrisburg elizabethtown okay. lancaster county and then that way we can start making lots of everything okay. lewistown glen rock i mean it'll be fun to do all that but let's first of all get them out of here what do you think Good plan? Are you? What do you think? That's you have a better plan? Yeah, no, there's just okay. so many. Well, that's why I figured I'd start with the colored ones because we'll probably list those first. I mean, not to say that these other ones are really, yeah, really nice. They are nice, and we've sold quite a few. We of have. Them. We do well with bank bags. I know we follow shed flips, and they do well with nutcrackers of all things, right? Right. <laughs> um, but we really do well with bank bags. We do. Let's do it. So we just found a coin. Our first. These look like a penny collection of some sort so that's interesting that was stuck to the bottom i mean i don't know anything about pennies but oops um, looks like some of those might be worth a little bit okay well that's always a bonus all right so we got the bank bags separated more bank bags like that and these are all the colored bags <laughs> what do you think hey so many bags it's amazing and we also got a bunch of these yeah as well which I wasn't a real big believer in in the beginning, but we've sold quite a few. Yeah, we have. That's cool. Yeah. It's for the farm. I see that. <laughs> I guess you could say we have our work cut out for us. We do. <laughs> but, but it's good work. Yeah. I'm very excited. I This is our most exciting auction. Hands uh, down. With. Absolutely. All right. Let's organize it even further now. You're like, it's Friday. Let me go home. Just relax. <laughs> Want a glass of wine? Put my feet up. You deserve it. Wow, change over day. It's been raining all day. Okay. Hi. And we're gonna look at Chef Tony's. It's a Chef Tony cheesesteak special. Philly cheesesteak. Have you ever heard of this? You can smell it. This is a famous pizza from the Union Canal School locally here in this area. Chef Tony made this for lunch one day, so they made it the special. Look at that. That is a cheesesteak special. Chef Tony's. So tell the story, Rich. It was Chef Tony at Union Canal. It's uh, one of their characters that had a cheesesteak pizza. And Greek Town said, sure, they would make a Greek Town uh, cheesesteak pizza. We have it as a Chef Tony's. Heavy. It's a, it's a, like a five pound pizza. That's cool every day of the week. Come on now. One slice and you're full. One slice and you're full. Gotta love it. Thanks for helping out today, Rich, and everybody else, your whole family. Awesome. We got the A team here today. That's right. Woohoo! Rock them, sock them, robot. Yeah, that's yours too. And a toilet seat. And a toilet seat. I'm quick and Davey Allison. There's some good stuff Boy, in there. There's some good stuff in here. Okay. Wow. 
And then that whole thing, there's a whole bunch on the bottom of there. Some of the older drivers. Uh, Some of them are brand new, never opened. Elvis. Yep, that's yours too. Oh my God. Look at that. On behalf of Pick and Weeds Vintage, the entire company, uh, the staff, um, Kay, the vice president, uh, Ollie, oh, Ollie. <laughs> we want to thank you for your service. I know that your uh, guy, uh, Alan Kowicki. He was very good. And then there's also another one here, uh -huh. too. Brought to you by... And was Davey Allison also? Yeah. They get, the bus died the same year. And then finally, you know this guy. I, I saw him once or twice. Is he the godfather of... Uh, he's, uh, he's the man. NASCAR. And NASCAR went downhill ever since. No Enjoy, issues. Dave. Thanks for your service. Why, thank you. <laughs> got some toys to go through. I didn't even have you to go hand? to the auction, though. Exactly. I think I'm, I got it. Woohoo! He's a good man. We had a busy time volunteering as we did the changeover from winter to spring. Mm -hmm. And now, pho. Pho. <laughs> but let's start with these. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Mm -hmm. Dun da da da. Mm. <laughs> What'd you get, Kay? You got something different. Yep, I got the beef and broccoli with the white rice. Oh, looks, looks really delicious. good. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Hot. And I got my favorite chicken pho. Chicken pho. <laughs> chicken pho. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Of course, another day has passed. Uh, Kay posted some last evening on our eBay store. Continue to look for those. And we'll also keep you posted on these wonderful bags back here. And we'll share with you as we dive into this amazing collection. But wow, what an amazing lot that we got here. Yes. I'd say at least a thousand bank bags, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. I feel privileged. I feel honored that we're able to go through a lifelong collection. So it'll be fun <laughs> to go through them right here on Pickin' Weeds Mintage. We're travelers, we're junkers, we're gardeners, we're resellers, and we love to eat pho. We do. Don't forget to hit that like button and give us a follow. It'll help us bring you more episodes just like this one in the future. In the meantime, I'm Mighty Mike. Okay. Thanks for watching. Until <laughs> next time, happy picking, everybody. Bye. Do you have a favorite one? Cool one. That's a cool one. I saw this one earlier. I like that tree. That is cool. It's not a tree. I like the orange. Nothing to do with the tree. It's still it's old. It looks like it's from an old movie. <laughs> I like the orange one, the miner's bag. That's I know, cool. There's so many. There's so many, and we'll go through them all.